Amazon reported quarterly financial results after the stock markets closed on October 31st, 2024. The stock market liked what they saw from Amazon and the stock price increased by 4-5% in the hours following the report and that momentum has continued in the day after the report was announced. In this video, I'm going to review those figures from Amazon's latest earnings release and highlight the things that investors should absolutely know about the company's performance. And then I'll update my buy recommendation of Amazon stock. Remember, as a reminder, all year in 2024, I've had Amazon ranked as one of my top stocks to buy, one of my top 25 stocks to buy. And I'll update that recommendation here and let you know if I still think it deserves a stop. Uh, it deserves a spot, I should say, on my list of top stocks to buy. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, Amazon reported an 11% increase in sales to 158.9 billion in the third quarter. That was up from 143 billion in the same quarter last year. But when you're dealing with a company with such large sales numbers, it's also important to look at the actual increase in sales, which was more than $15 billion year over year increase in sales. That's difficult to do. Many businesses will never achieve $15 billion in sales in their lifetime, Amazon just increased their business by $15 billion in one year. Amazon's most important segment is AWS. They have three segments overall, North America, International, and AWS. AWS is the Amazon Web Services segment, which includes its AI services. This segment is the most profitable by far, and it increased by the most out of all of its three segments. Exa exactly what you want to see, right? If you're following Amazon stock, they have three segments. Where would you want to see the most growth? In the most profitable segment. And that's exactly what investors got. AWS increased sales by 19% year over year. The other two segments, International and North America, grew by 12% and 9% respectively. Operating income jumped to $17.4 billion in the third quarter compared to $11.2 billion in the third quarter of 2023. So operating income increased by more than $6 billion or more than 50% year over year. Again, another impressive number for Amazon stock investors. Operating cash flow increased by 57% to $112.7 billion in the trailing 12 months. Wow, $112 billion in operating income compared with $71 billion in the trailing 12-month period, which ended September 30th, 2023. Amazon joins Apple as one of the companies that generated over $100 billion in operating cash flow in a trailing 12-month period. Apple generated somewhere around $118 billion in trailing 12-month cash flow from operations. These are massive numbers for these large tech giants. Looking ahead, Amazon is forecasting good times to continue with net sales expected to increase by 9% at the midpoint in the fourth quarter and operating income expected to come in at the midpoint of 18 billion, which would be up from 13.2 billion in the same quarter last year. Now, one thing to note here is that the rates of growth are decreasing for Amazon, but they are still demonstrating excellent growth coming off several consecutive quarters of really strong growth numbers. It's understandable that the growth rates here are decelerating, but they're still increasing, which is great news for Amazon stock investors that the company, even at its massive scale, is still generating near double digit revenue growth and significant operating profit expansion each and every quarter. Well, one of the numbers I've been looking at with Amazon is their increases in purchases of property and equipment, which is a proxy for its investments in the logistics and fulfillment network and investments in the data centers optimized for artificial intelligence, which its large cap tech peers have also been increasing their spending on Alphabet, Microsoft, and meta platforms all indicated increases in capital expenditures on these data centers optimized for AI. And we get another data point here from Amazon, again, 
furthering these investments, these capital expenditures from the large cap tech giants. On a trailing 12-month period, Amazon's spending on property and equipment increased to $69.7 billion, up from $54.7 billion in the same period last year. The bulk of that increase came in the most recent quarter, where Amazon increased spending on property and equipment to $22.6 billion. That was up from $12.5 billion in the same quarter last year. More good news for NVIDIA stock investors as these large tech giants can't get enough of these data centers optimized for AI. Remember a couple of weeks ago, about four or five weeks ago, NVIDIA said that demand for its latest generation Blackwell technology for optimized AI data centers is insane and sold out for a year. And you're going to see why. Who is spending money on that? It's companies like Amazon and Alphabet and Meta Platforms and Microsoft. And I've done videos about all of those companies and their recent earnings releases. And the common theme among all of these large cap tech companies is their increasing spending in this category by a lot. Amazon almost doubled year over year spending in this category. And they've also all signaled that they're going to continue this investment because it's already bringing back great returns. And they expect that to continue because when they're talking with their customers, that's what they're seeing too. And then these companies like Amazon, Alphabet, Microsoft, and Meta, they're using this AI internally. So it's helping them internally for their own use cases, even if they're not selling it to third parties as well. So it's uh, another great data point for NVIDIA. I mentioned how AWS is the profit driver for Amazon's business, but they've been doing a great job with the e-commerce business as well. To my surprise, they've increased the profitability of this segment significantly. You can see the operating profit margin of worldwide net sales has increased to 11% in the most recent quarter. It was 9.9% the quarter before that and 10.7% before that. And you can see the trend of increasing operating profit margin in that segment. The trend is more apparent if you look at the operating profit margin on a trailing 12-month basis. You can see that rising from 3.3% all the way up to 9.8%, more than tripling in the last year, year and a half or so. That's a result of several tweaks to the business under this new management of Andy Jassy, who stepped in for Jeff Bezos a few years ago and has done a phenomenal job with the business. Kudos to him and the management team. They've really turned Amazon into a profit giant. They were already a great business in terms of total sales. But what's changed in the last few years is their profit margins have expanded significantly across the board, as you could see here. So the AWS growth segment, remember when I did the preview video about Amazon, I was looking for AWS sales growth of 20% or more would be really good. Or if it remained at around 19% with higher profit margins. And that's what we got. We got 19% revenue growth again from the segment, two quarters in a row now of 19% growth in this segment, but we got 19% growth with much higher margins here at 38.1% compared with 35.5% in the same quarter, uh, in the previous quarter that Amazon reported on. Another thing to note here, this is where AI services and AI sales are going, cloud computing, etc. And this is good industry-wide. I got great data points here. Alphabet's cloud segment grew robustly. Microsoft's cloud segment grew robustly. Industry-wide, you're seeing growing spending on cloud services, artificial intelligence at higher and higher profit margins. So that's great news. And that's another reason why these companies continue spending on those data centers optimized with AI, because it doesn't have to be used for only artificial intelligence. It can be used for recommender systems, which can also be considered AI. It can be used for targeted advertising, et cetera, et cetera. And with the cloud segments growing as they are, these businesses want to have that extra capacity to be able to sell those services or use those services internally. All right, following these excellent results, Amazon stock price increased. It's now trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of 34.42. And it's the highest this stock has traded for all year long here in 2024. 
it's increased in valuation all year. I've had the stock rated as a top stock to buy all year long as well. So to update the recommendation, do I still think Amazon deserves a spot on my top 10 growth stock and top 25 list of stocks to buy? And the answer is yes. And I'm updating that recommendation here today. I should put November 1st, not October. We are now in November. And I still think Amazon is a great investment for long-term investors. Did you know that over 90% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribed? It'll really help support my channel if you hit that subscribe button. And oh, by the way, one of the benefits of being subscribed is that I take requests from subscribers more often than I do from non-subscribers. So if you prefer that benefit, please subscribe to the channel.